Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. How are you doing today? Michael Zuber, one rental at a time. And yes, it's Wednesday. It means we have Anna Kelly with us. How are you doing, Anna? I'm doing great. We've had great conversations so far, so I'm excited. Yeah, this one's going to be fun too. Uh, the reason we're having this conversation is, is I've been lucky enough because of this YouTube channel to interview over 200 successful real estate investors. And something, when you go back and you look at the notes, and I've had many videos transcribed so I can read them, um, you really see kind of some similarities, right? Life's hard for everyone, right? In the beginning, life's hard. It's like real estate investors aren't born, right? Some people are born to be swimmers or basketball players. You're just naturally gifted. You, nobody's born being a real estate investor. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. Awesome. So the reason I wanted to, to have a conversation is real estate investing can make you rich, right? Whatever rich is defined or wealthy. But what, what I have found interesting is all the successful people I go, you know, I talk to, or I go back and watch the video after there's kind of two or three life events that they use as their, I don't know. I don't, I call it fuel. I don't know what, what else it might be called, but basically they, the foundation that they build on that takes them forward. So I thought maybe you and I could talk about one or two things in our history that we still use as fuel 20 years later um, to keep us going. Cause again, neither one of us are done. What do you think about that? Absolutely. Yeah. It's, you mentioned the word grit and grit mm -hmm. has been proven through lots and lots of studies and following people to be the number one determiner of success in whatever it is that you're doing, whether you're the athlete or whether you're the real estate investor, whether you're the CEO, it's having the grit to overcome adversity yeah. and to push through and to become a stronger, wiser person that just gets better and better fueled by what they went through, right? Yeah. Um, for me, I would just say probably three key things. My childhood was difficult. My mother was in multiple abusive relationships and that forced us to have to live on couches, battered women's shelters, single um, section eight housing and not such a great complex. And that taught me that I needed to be able to have financial independence and never rely on an abusive person to take care of me. So I made very good choices in you know, my spouse and, mm -hmm. and, and dating, um, as well as very good financial choices and being very careful to make sure that I always had a good job. I always had something saved. I always had plan B if something went poorly in a relationship. So that was yeah. number one. I think number two was having a baby oh. because number one drove me to be successful and move up the corporate ladder. And, and that was my idea of success. If I can just get the best paying job you know, at the best company, um, then I'm invincible, right? Mm -hmm. Well, 2007 and that crash, you know, <laughs> after 2007, 2008 and nine taught me that that wasn't necessarily <laughs> right. Um, but having a baby is what taught me that my time was more important to me than my money. Ah, I wanted to pour into my family yes. and not just have enough money to be okay, but have enough time and money that I could really be a great mom and create a great life for myself and not have to be an absent mom, just that's pursuing a bunch of money. Mm -hmm. And then the third thing was a crash. Started a business height of 07, everything crashed the end of 08 into 09. You've heard my story, almost lost my job, almost lost my husband's business, had nothing and hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt, couple of properties. And we thought, how are we ever going to get through this? And getting through it day by day by day, making better and better financial decisions and starting to create enough passive income by buying when things hit the fan instead of freaking out. Mm -hmm. It allowed me to come out on the other end successful and to, to learn that I am, um, I am an overcomer. I do have grit and nothing that comes scares me because I know I will figure it out, do the hard work and end up better tomorrow than I am today. So that, those is, are my three things. that is awesome. Yeah. Grit, grit is, is so key. And I just want to go back and hammer that point about the crash, right? Cause you're into the crash. It's, it's, I, I still remember it like it was yesterday, right? It's just all falling around us. Jobs are insecure. Wall street people are being walked out with their boxes. I still remember that CNBC video. I think it was Bear Stearns and um, you, you had a choice, right? It, it sounds so funny to say you got into more debt, right? as you're going through it, instead of cowering, going, oh my God, because if you don't buy, Anna, you probably lose some of your real okay. estate. Yeah. All of it and the business and our credit. People yeah. need to hear that, right? If you didn't keep fighting and moving forward and growing into the crash, 
you lose everything. I don't think people realize that. And a lot of people just froze and they did nothing. Yes, absolutely. That is amazing. Thank you. Wow, that just hit me. Now that it we're just hit me too. <laughs> it's like, wow, that's I, just said, I need more cash flow. And the cash flow required more debt, but it was debt that I knew was good debt that paid for itself, that would create enough extra income to make the big debt payments on the other stuff that I had gotten myself into. Yeah, you were, you were already in, right? Your signature was already there. You just had, you had to figure it out. You had to get into more debt. Boy, I bet that, would, I bet that makes Dave Ramsey's brain hurt. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Now we're both on the other side of this. Uh, we're helping people. How, you know, I've never asked this before, but how do we, how do we make, how do we, I don't know how to do this. How do we make people understand that grit's important? Because not everybody has it, or maybe not everybody knows they need it, maybe. I don't know how to phrase that. Yes, um, I try to talk about it a lot. You know, okay. it, it is what will make or break somebody mm. because everybody thinks, you know, I've read the books, this is gonna be easy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, I'll just buy a property, just go get a loan, but it doesn't yeah. work that way. You know, we go through fires and floods and hurricanes and, yeah. you know, I've gone through all those things. We go through bad contractors and bad relationships with partners and with spouses. And if you don't, you know, if you don't learn how to weather storms and cower like a wallflower every time something happens, you're going to fail. You will not be successful. Yeah, don't don't even start. It'll, it'll no, because you're going to get down yeah. in the dumps and depressed and oh woe is me. Um, and trust me, I've had my moments oh, many yeah. times. Grit isn't, isn't, you know, coming up with, you know, happiness and courage through every storm, but it's going, I don't care what happens. This is really bad, but I have a choice to sink or swim and I'm not going to sink. I'm going to swim. And once you've done it, you know, a couple of times, you become more confident in your ability to weather anything else that comes. And you just don't let those things destroy you. You let them fuel you to come out better, you know, because of it. And so Learning really, and I don't know who first said this, but life doesn't happen to you. It really happens for you. Mm. I believe that. I like and every that. challenge that has happened to me in life where I could have played the victim and given up because, um, oh no, this happened to me. It's like, wow, this is happening for me. How am I going to use it to become stronger and to develop that grit that's going to make me do be able to handle so much more in the future than I can today? And it allows you to have more confidence and to dream bigger and to take a little more risks every day, despite those things that can happen. If you don't start developing that mindset, you're not going to do well for very long. It's just true. Yeah. Very cool. Love this conversation on. I know you've got to go. How can people follow you and be part of your world? Great. Here every week and Facebook and LinkedIn at Anna, R-E-I, Mom Kelly. And if you're interested in passive investing in um, projects, multifamily projects, where we make an impact on the lives of our residents as well, you can follow me at greaterpurposecapital.com. Very cool. Thank you very much, Anna. We'll talk next week. Thank you, Michael.